Hi Frank and uh, clean sheet on Saturday then. Uh, talk us through that save of yours if you can when you tip that long shot from George Byers onto the post. Uh, it's more reactive than anything to be honest. Um, I just remember thinking to myself I've got to move my feet here really quickly because he's hit it with that like, kind of a bend and fortunately I've got a couple of hands to it and uh, he stayed out the goal. I'm just grateful for that to be honest. That's the only thing that I thought when it hit the post and went wide, I just thought, oh, thank God for that. So it's the only really thing I thought, to be honest. Great save. But you've got some great defenders in front of you as well. Oh, yeah. You? Absolutely. I mean, we've just said to Rich before about how many really, really good centre halves we've got now and we've got strength everywhere. I mean, taking consideration that we've got Bailey can play centre half as well. Um, Thomas Callas, Adam Webster, Nathan Baker. I mean, Eros still to come back yet as well. It's just uh, the strength in depth is absolutely amazing now. Well, how good is Thomas Callas? A lot of the fans have picked up on him as being a, a real key player. Season, Thomas Callas is amazing, but he's just a great person to be around as well. Really humble. Doesn't say massively a lot, a lot of things, but when he does talk, it's important and. His experience is obviously massive for us as well because he's been there, done it, and got the T-shirt. And he had a couple of promotions at this level, and he knows the level obviously really well. Adam Webster's getting better game by game, and looks like a Rolls Royce. Like he's been playing there, playing for Bristol City for ten years, and he looks that good. And Nathan Baker, you know what Nathan's like, all hearted. You know what you're gonna get. And Bailey Wright, our captain, our leader, and yeah, I know it's really exciting at the back at the minute. You say strength and depth and um, some real class there. Just on yourself, Frank, are you fully fit at the moment? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, been fully fit for a bit, to be fair. Um, not been easy, you know, coming back from the meningitis. It took me a while to start living normally again, to be honest. Never mind play football, but no, yeah, I'm absolutely... I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying my football at the minute and glad to just be out there with the boys. Yeah, I meant to ask you about the viral meningitis. Um, Lee said at the time that you were basically scared of the daylight in a, in, in a way. Um, is, is that right? Or how, how, I mean, at his worst? I was light know? sensitive. Okay. Definitely light sensitive. It was making me light headed and, and dizzy, to be honest. And it uh, hurt my eyes quite a bit, but um, yeah, it was, was, wasn't nice, to be honest. Bedridden for a while? Or, or uh, I wasn't bedridden. It sounds, sounds like I've. No, I wasn't bedridden. I'm just. I had to stay indoors quite a lot, and if I did go outside, I had to wear sunglasses quite a lot. Um, on a day like this as well, today has been beautiful outside, so I've had to have my sunglasses on, and I did a lot of walking. <laughs> um, so yeah, with my sunglasses on at the time. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, you've got Antoine Semenyo and Mo Iza there in training with you, and obviously those guys are strikers, so I'm guessing you obviously be doing a lot of shooting drills. What are they like in terms of uh, their shooting? Who's got the most powerful shot? Uh, which one's impressed you the most out of those two guys? Both completely different players, to be honest. Mo's finishing in training is out outstanding and he works really hard on it. I haven't seen a lot of Anton, to be honest. I've seen him last week and uh, obviously this week and he's a um, complete striker, isn't he? He's got everything. He's got the high, he can head it, can shoot. Whereas Mo's like a proper uh, back to the wall, sh you know, he's a quick quick striker and explosive, if you will. So they're completely two different, they've got complete different attributes to one another, but all two very, very, very good players and it's exciting. I mean, Moore's only going to get better and Anton's, sky's the limit for him, isn't it, I suppose. Yeah, sure, two, two exciting talents. Um, just on Lee Johnson, today is three years, obviously, with him in charge at Ashton Gate. Uh, what's he like down at the training ground? Um, is he because we obviously see him only really in front of the cameras yeah. and is he the same down the training ground or is he different in any way the gaffer's a gaffer and he's the boss and um, very hands on on the training ground excellent coach um, but I think off the pitch when we're having dinner or he's very quiet um, and obviously if he has something to tell you, you he'll, he'll tell you but other than that, I mean, obviously very vocal on the training ground and training's enjoyable and learning stuff off him all the time. And, um, is yeah. he one of those that joins in 
training still a lot, or is he maybe getting? No, I think he likes to take a backward step. And I mean, training's built up during the week in it for Saturday, to be honest. And uh, no, like this week we've had a free week, so we've been working on stuff and now nah, been working on the game plans and etc. But no, he's very hands on on the training ground and really, really good. You know, learning all the time from him and. Um, probably doesn't even know that I'm, I mean I'm, I'm watching him but I'm watching him how he's managing techniques and his coaching techniques and it's enjoyable to watch How highly do you rate him? As a coach? Yeah Absolutely Phenomenal yeah Brilliant um, Tactically amazing as well getting better all the time and he's still young and himself and still getting better so no yeah I really enjoy watching it and um, it's probably more pleasing when you've Worked hard all week on a on a way you're gonna play, and then it comes to fruition on a Saturday. And I bet that gives him the most pleasure out of anything. So yeah, I'm really. I mean, for instance, last Saturday, you know, we worked really hard, and now we were gonna play, and then it. Sometimes it not happen. Sometimes it doesn't. Fortunately, it did on Saturday, but um, there's nothing better when you've worked on it all week and it comes off. Brilliant. Yeah, getting some great results at the moment. Just finally, um, subject close to your heart, I'm sure. I think you're still an ambassador down at the Children's Hospital South West. Have you been down there recently? Um, have you been taking any stuff down? I know the players sometimes contribute some bits. Well, I've, we've, we've got a lot of stuff to take down, actually. Uh, we've just had a million and one things lately going on, but no, we've got still... I haven't been down there since probably earlier the start of the year, um, but got loads to, you know, I'm sure in the next couple of weeks, a few of the boys will be down there handing the stuff out, but... We're always available. Whenever they want us to come down, we're always available to go down there. Um, obviously, a great place. You've obviously been before, I think, haven't you? It's a, a charity really close to my heart, so um, I love it down there, and, and what they do is amazing. Um, some of the stuff you don't realise that goes on down there is absolutely second to none, and it's a great environment, and we love it. Right, I wanted to talk to you about football of the American type. I know you are okay. an uh, American football fan and you're also a Rams fan. I, I am. That's right. Have you managed to get over Sunday yet? Um, very disappointing, wasn't it? Um, you were the first person I thought of. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I watched a, a talk show called Skip and Shannon quite a lot, which is um, an ex-NFL uh, player called... Um, is it, um, Shannon Smart. Who was he won the Super Bowl three times and he's very controversial. I mean, you think our press is really bad. Um, you know, sometimes theirs is ruthless. And I watch it every day and they've been battering the obviously the quarterbacks. It's all or nothing with the quarterbacks, isn't it? I suppose. And when I go home after training, I tune in um, via the internet because I'm lucky like that. But <laughs> I found a way of doing it. But um, yeah, I'm obviously gutted. Um, I'm sure they are as well. And. It's exciting times for the Rams because they've got a very, very good young coach and something I'm really interested in. I'm tuning in most days, what's going on with the Rams, yeah, definitely. Have you ever thought of giving it a go yourself with your hands? I mean, well, as, as we've said, with that save on, at Swansea, you make a pretty good... Oh, I think he's completely two different yeah. sports, isn't there? Is there a rugby lad who's recently gone over who's, who's going to give it a try? Isn't there? He used to play for England with, at the Wasps. I don't know his name off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, I think... A couple of the boys actually were talking about that today. We were, me and Marlon were talking about it and Corey, saying that how um, how he's struggled with the demands of training because he's been training somewhere. I'm not too sure where he's been training, but he's been training with an NFL team and he's been struggling with the demands of it. So I don't realize, I don't think people realize how hard it is on the on the body of the NFL. And you consider it if you win the Super Bowl, it's a 20 game season, which is you you and me think that's probably not a lot. But I think what they actually go through and what they put their bodies through is. It's a long stretch for them, and like I said, that rugby lad's really struggled with the demands of it. So I don't even think I'd give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough sport. But, it is. Uh, going back to our football, a, a tough place to go is Ewood Park. You're playing Blackburn on Saturday, a club close to your heart as well. I understand. Is it a tough place to go this season? Do you think? Um, probably tell you after the game on Saturday, but no. I mean, they've had a really good season, haven't they? Got some really good players, got some dangerous players, and um, listen, we'll go there with our mindset and and hopefully we can get a result but and get the three points but listen then they've had a good season they're obviously a difficult place to go to but there isn't many easy places in the championship to go to and get a result is there and just finally Wolves in the FA Cup that was decided yesterday looking forward to testing yourself against Premier League opposition once again absolutely um, 
just goes to show we took the cups, you know, the gaffers took the cup competitions really seriously while he's been here, and we've got ourselves a really good tie up at home now, and um, I'm sure the Ashton Gate will be jam packed as usual, and um, yeah, give a a nice game for the fans and and test ourselves against a really you know a really good team who's going well in the in the Premier League. Nice one. Thanks, Frank. Thanks very much. No worries.